Yeah, yeah, you know, this is a Skateboard Bruh video. My channel, it's called Skateboard Bruh. A skateboarding, ch uh, story storytelling channel? Yeah, uh, obviously I've skated a lot out here. Skateboarding is really good out here. Uh, I already made quite some videos on skateboarding here in Bali. Uh, channel's doing well, I've really enjoyed it so far, but to be honest with you guys, the other day I went on a little non-skateboarding trip again. Yeah, that's right, non-skateboarding. Uh, sometimes, not often, once every while, once every once every 10 years when all the planets align, I do something different than skateboarding. Nah, nah, my dudes. Uh, I've actually posted quite a lot about non-skateboarding things on this channel and it's doing really well. Uh, you, you guys seem to like it more since it, I'm more about the storytelling anyway. Uh, and I'm very happy to introduce you guys to my three-day trip to Ubud which didn't include skateboarding. Yeah, just a disclaimer for all the skateboarding people out there. Uh, so Ubud is this town closer to the middle of Bali, uh, known for the nature, rice fields and cultural stuff. Uh, since those three things don't include skateboarding, it sounded completely insane for me to go out there, but guess what? This bro decided to go anyway. And let me tell you, it was quite amazing. Uh, the first thing I did out there was visiting the monkey forest. Uh, whilst walking around, I noticed there were quite some monkeys out there. You know, that's why they call it that way. Apart from the monkeys, there were also a ton of other tourists around there, but uh, I guess monkey forest sounds more appealing than tourist forest, so I guess that's why they chose that name. The monkeys were pretty advanced. This, this is some cool shit. Uh, some of them were able to use the tap water. Some of them even used bottled water. And then you had the ones that were only jumping in the water. Yeah, just wait until the day they understand they can bottle and sell that substance. So then I scootered my way towards the Daegungan, Daegun, Daegunungan waterfall. Oh shit, this place has more than 3,000 Google reviews. Uh, here, let's, let's add mine real quick. To be honest though, it wasn't really 10 out of 10. There were just so many tourists that it felt a little too much of a tourist attraction instead of uh, visiting nature. I mean, the nature there is nice, but I guess there are better places in Indonesia to visit for nature. I came for the surfing and skating anyway, so yeah. Uh, they also make you pay for the visit to the waterfall, but then when you want to go on top of it, you have to pay again. And it's not much at all, it's really nothing at all, but it doesn't feel like a cool natural phenomenon that you're visiting if you have to pay to stop at a desk every 10 minutes you walk. I then visited the elephant cave uh, together with my new scarf that also had some elephants on there, and uh, yeah, getting fashionable. Elephant cave, elephant scarf, you know. Dope. And then just when you think things couldn't get much better, I went on to visit Pura Tirta and Pool. This temple is a Hindu Balinese water temple located near the town of Tampak Siring. This place is pretty special because out there you can purify yourself by means of ritual bathing. I was really excited by this because once I got in, uh, I didn't only purify myself, but this this meant I could cleanse my entire YouTube channel, you know? There we have it, people. This channel is holy now. Uh, this is the most pure YouTube channel out of all YouTube channels now. Uh, yeah, no one can stop us. All right. And then it was time for my last tourist attraction, the Tegalanglang Rice Terrace. A 50 minute drive and just to let you guys know, the part I enjoyed the most was the driving itself actually. Uh, just driving through these quickly changing beautiful landscapes on a crappy Honda scooter that could go up to 100 kilometers an hour was just so beautiful. By the way, 100 kilometers an hour is not the speed I was driving on these small little roads. I am not stupid or Max Verstappen. Really though, there are a lot of dogs out here and once one crosses the road, you're done. So the rice terrace was really beautiful and it was a damn good day because uh, the way I had set up this day, I had looked at a bunch of tours online and I just did all their activities on my own pace, which was 100 kilometers an hour, baby. No.
but I had done all the stuff I wanted to here in Ubud in just one day though. Uh, I did have two nights left here, so uh, I then decided to take this night tour up to Mount Batur. Mount Batur is an active volcano. I woke up at two in the night to uh, start hiking this thing. To be honest, I've never been on a real hike, so uh, I guess it was my first, first hike. It was pretty easy hike though, uh, not a big fan of hiking. Me being a fan of skateboarding, uh, this action pack thing, uh, hiking just seemed a bit boring. Uh, I guess this one was a pretty easy one, so uh, I can't judge it too much either. I guess it is also more about the result after the hike because uh, we watched a beautiful sunset. We walked around the volcano as well and that was so damn awesome. Just look at that setting. Yeah, I guess, I guess hiking is pretty cool actually. Then our tour guide introduced us to volcano skiing. Yeah, it's uh, basically running and sliding down the volcano. Not too smart. <laughs> hey, what's up, man? We then met some monkeys. Didn't want to be filming them too much because from stories I heard, those fuckers really are good at stealing your stuff. And I didn't want that monkey to have all this cool footage, so uh, yeah, we moved on. One last thing, our tour guide showed us a temple in the volcano. That was so cool. And that was basically all the cool stuff I did in uh, Ubud for the last two days. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Peace out and skate on.